Hey Audacious Church, my name is Derek, along with my wife Victoria, we are the Young Families Connect Pastors. Uh, today I get to share this, uh, one of my favourite proverbs with you really, um, just praying that it encourages you um, and helps you in your walk with Jesus as well. Um, it's Proverbs eleven twenty four, and it says this, One person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. Um, and I love this proverb because it just reminds me of that having a, a heart centered on generosity, a life centered on generosity. Um, nowadays, it's very natural for us to kind of feel like we need to save more um, than we need um, to give us our self security. Um, we want to try to hoard or collect and things and just keeping everything to ourselves. But this proverb really challenges us that no, we should rather you know, be generous and build strong relationships with people around us. Let's connect um, deeply with people around us in our world um, and that's the challenge really and it's around having that generosity mindset um, you know that comes from the abundance and trusting God um, believing that he's going to provide all your resources enough for you more than enough for you um, to take care of you but then also um, and people to take care of us as well um, so even if we don't save everything ourselves you know by being generous we join a divine support system of support um, you know your generosity is kind of like a snowball effect um, as you pour out to others other people pour into you as well and that's where generosity really is at its strongest and I love what it says in Acts chapter 20 35 it says the Lord himself said it's more blessed to give than to receive and I think that's so pivotal in this generation you know putting a focus on our generosity um and giving um rather than trying to always want to wanting to receive you know um so i'm praying that encourages you in some small way um i think my prayer my challenge for you today as you're going about your business or whatever you get up to is to really reflect on how you can cultivate a generosity lifestyle today you know can you buy a meal for somebody can you rather than doom scrolling on your phone could you spend that time calling somebody and you know spending some quality time with them um but regardless of whatever they're going through in some small way um to try and challenge yourself to try and live in a life of generosity and abundance um so that's my encouragement for you audacious church i pray it does help you in some small way um yeah so have a great day uh we'll see you around in church take care